We're excited to share our 10 best practices series with you and hope you find it valuable. If you do, please show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing, it means a lot to us. Midjourney is an AI-powered text-to-image generator that can create stunning artwork based on your prompts. However, to get the most out of Midjourney, you need to write good prompts with proper keywords inserted. In this article, you will learn the Midjourney keyword tips to get jaw-dropping artwork. If you are a beginner or intermediate in Midjourney AI, you can apply the tips mentioned here for Midjourney prompts. Use style keywords. You can use keywords such as Japanese anime style, Pixar movie style, cyberpunk style, steampunk style, etc. to infuse certain styles in the art. For example, you can prompt Midjourney to generate an image in the style of your favorite artist by mentioning their name in your prompt. For example, X in the style of artist name. Be descriptive and specific. Being specific and descriptive in your prompts can make all the difference when it comes to generating high-quality artwork with Midjourney. Instead of simply describing a scene or object, try to include specific details and elements that you would like to see in the final image. For example, instead of just saying a beach, you could specify the time of day, the weather conditions, and the types of people and activities you would like to see on the beach. Experiment with style settings Midjourney allows you to adjust the stylization of the generated images by using the stylize some number command, range 1250 to 5000, while 2500 is the default. If you want to create an image with a cartoon-like or anime style, you can increase the stylization level to 5000. If you prefer a more realistic image, you can lower the stylization level to 1250. You can also use style keywords in your prompt to infuse certain styles like anime, cyberpunk, steampunk, etc. Adjust the abstraction level. Midjourney allows you to control the level of abstraction in the images it generates. You can adjust the abstraction level by using the chaos sum number command in your prompt. For example, you can use the command slash imagine a cityscape chaos 50 to generate a cityscape image with a moderate level of abstraction. You can experiment with different levels of abstraction to find the perfect balance for your image. Mention resolution. You can mention the quality of the image in two ways, via keywords, 8K, 4K, photorealistic, ultra detailed, intricate details, etc. via settings, HDR quality example prompt, slash imagine photorealistic image of a lotus in the pond or slash imagine a lotus in the pond quality 6. Use the beta model. The new Midjourney beta model has the potential to unify aesthetics and coherence for better results. To use this, type test for general purpose artistic mode or test for photorealism mode. Example prompt, dark jungle, tree with orange and red leaf, at sunset, drawing with colored pencils test. Use the creative feature. In case you are not satisfied with the image that Midjourney generated even after the upscale process, you can mention test creative at the end of your prompt. Example prompt, beautiful mixed race woman struggling with her inner demons, the woman is grasped by dark stone monster, the monster is colossal and gloomy test creative. Adjust aspect ratio. Adjusting the aspect ratio will result in a significant impact on the AI-generated image. You can mention the aspect ratio with the R2 to 3 command. The maximum aspect ratio supported in the new beta model of Midjourney is 2 to 3 or 3 to 2 whereas on the previous model, i.e. if you didn't use test or test command, is 16 to 9 or 9 16. Use the remaster feature. A feature called Remaster improves the coherency of the images that are made without the test or test feature. You can generate images with this feature for better detailing and coherency. To remaster previously created images, you need to use slash show job id command. 
you can get the job bit of a particular image in the gallery. The limitation of the remaster option is that it only works on aspect ratios up to 2 to 3 or 3 to 2 and it can't be utilized when you use an image as prompt. Use an image as a prompt. You can use the image as a prompt. To do so, you need to give the image URL. Example prompt, slash imagine https colon slash slash www.example.com slash image.jpg. Using an image as a prompt is a powerful feature in Midjourney that allows you to use an existing image as a reference or inspiration for your generated image. This can be especially useful if you have a specific image in mind that you want to use as a starting point or if you want to generate an image that is similar. By following these tips and experimenting with different keywords, you can greatly improve the results you get from Midjourney. Remember to always use good quality images as prompts and to use the appropriate keywords for the desired outcome. And don't forget to have fun with the process. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future videos. Your support means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Thank you and see you in the next one.